Hello, I'm Rob with ScrappyDoo.com, and I hope you're ready for another great tutorial. Alright, so we got an email from a lady that, uh, that asked the question, how can I make this cut single lines instead of double lines in SCAL? And she didn't know why it was cutting double lines in SCAL. So let's go ahead and take uh, take a look at what it is, and I'll show you how to correct this just in case your uh, your image or your path is uh, double lined. So first, we're going to need to make this a path. As you can see, it's an image right now by the information box. So let's go ahead and go to Path Trace Bitmap, and uh, go ahead and hit Update and hit OK. And close out of this window, and let's move the path. Uh, path image that we just created over and we're going to delete the original image. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to view mode and we're going to go to display mode and then we're going to go to outline view and what this does is it sort of gives you um, what SCAL sees almost to do your cuts because SCAL doesn't recognize colors it recognizes uh, lines and anyways um, as you can see, I'm going to zoom in here that there are double lines. So that, that's the reason why SCAL is cutting those double lines. Now how do you get rid of those, you ask? Well, uh, all we have to do is make sure that our path is selected, which it is by the bound in boxes, you can tell. And we're going to go to Path, we're going to say Break Apart. And you're going to click off that, and then you can select the individual things. So we can go ahead and hit Delete on that. Uh, as you can see the handles are doubled as well so you can go ahead and slide those out and hit delete on those and that will give you your single line cuts as you can see we can zoom in and they are single lines so this is this is just another way that you can uh, you can troubleshoot your own uh, photos that you can convert to SVG so that you can make those single line uh, single lined paths. So with that, I'm Rob from ScrappyDoo.com. Hope you subscribe to the YouTube channel because there's going to be more videos to come. Thank you and I will see you next time.